Cosmic Cliffs is exciting partly because we can ask, uh, what are the different features that happen during the life cycle of a star? We're asking questions about what happened in the early years and centuries of the formation of the universe. When I saw the images, I was just amazed because to me it looks like a simulation. To see these images at such high resolution, it really makes the work tangible in a completely new way. Today is a historic day. T minus 30 seconds in count. Is it start? Six and a half months ago, a rocket launched from Earth, carrying the world's newest, most powerful deep space telescope. On a journey, one million miles into the cosmos. Along the way, unfolding itself, deploying a mirror 21 feet wide, a sun shield the size of a tennis court. Put together, it's a new window into the history of our universe. We were holding our breath for July 12th to see if this great project for decades of work and many collaborations across countries around the world would lead to scientific discovery. We were so excited to see the first images coming back from James Webb. As a theoretical astronomer, I spend my day working with equations and computer code that describe the processes we see in the images. And this is really out there. And it's an image of this process really occurring. It shows us the very earliest stages after stars are formed. And what James Webb does, and the NEACAM instrument in particular that was used to take the Cosmic Cliffs image, is that it can see through the dense gas and the dust. We can actually see the interaction, for example, of ultraviolet radiation from the young stars with the gas. And we see this steam actually rising off the gas and enshrouding it. And it's just amazing to see this actually happening. This is even such a huge step after Hubble. What's great about James Webb is it can actually see different information. So it can look at the same part of base and it'll see different features that are actually invisible to Hubble. So Cosmic Cliffs is showing us the same location, but it's coming in with infrared light. So when we look at the Cosmic Cliffs from James Webb, we're seeing different details and fresh insights. When you compare the images side by side, what really jumps out, the fact that we can really reveal these younger stars from within the dense gas that usually covers them. Every community historically has had some storytelling about the universe and the sky as part of our traditional ways of thinking about reality. So Cosmic Cliffs reminds us that there are mysteries and beauties that really can surprise us. And science helps us connect with that imaginative part of ourselves. What an amazing story that we as humans could take a glimpse into this, this cosmic dance and try to understand our place in this vast universe. We're exploring this from this very human awe of things that we don't understand and understanding how small we are in the context of the universe and how much we have to learn.